It's Hiding Chili King back for another hot sauce special. It is a hot sauce special, and it's our first video we've done in a while without a special guest. We did six straight videos with special guests. It is what it is. Well, we hadn't done one in a while with a special guests because of the COVID. Even though we, uh, so what we had Cohen on here that one time. That might have been, that was right before the COVID. We didn't have a special guest, I don't think, during the whole COVID thing. I mean, we didn't, we didn't have many kids over here. So anyway, as we get back into real life and cases spike, we are going to have more special guests. Yeah. Uh, we enjoyed ha we enjoy having special guests. Do we not, Huddy? We love having special guests. I tell you when I like having a special guest. Actually, we've had Asher since then, I think. When we oh. did dubs. But anyway, mm -hmm. I like doing a special guest in a car. We're eating fast food. So probably our next special guest is going to be Luke. Luke. Yeah. Baseball team Luke. Yeah, baseball team Luke. So we've talked. Luke wants to do a video. We're trying to figure out what to do. He likes wings and the Baconator. <laughs> That's what we got. We may do the Baconator. Anyway, okay. So going to report to you. We got our first full-size tomato off the vine yesterday. Yeah, that's not a good looking. And we also got two peppers. Bell pepper. Two bell peppers. The ones that aren't hot. Anyway, uh, and we're also leaving in the morning to go to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Roll Roll time. Whatever. And then we're going uh, to play bass. Well, actually, we're not going to Tuscaloosa in the morning. We're going to Centerville, Alabama, and then we're going to Tuscaloosa afterwards to spend the night because there ain't nowhere to sleep in Centerville. Is Centerville like middle nowhere? I don't know. It's in Bibb County, and it's we're playing right beside Bibb County High School. That's about all I know. Bibb County's a good name for a county. Bibb? It is. I like it. William T. Bibb or whatever his name is. All right. So today, I, I, we love doing hot sauce videos. We've talked about it. <clears throat> We've talked about it. It's true, 100%. We love doing YouTube, uh, excuse me. We love doing hot sauce videos. Yes. Uh, they don't always get a lot of views, and we don't really, really care. care. Yeah. We just enjoy doing them. And so today, I was as I was in the grocery store buying stuff for this weekend, mm. gross, man, seriously? <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that. Gosh. I would start over, but we've already got too much invested. And I'm not editing it because that's too difficult. <laughs> All right, so today while I was walking through the grocery store, I see these hot sauces all the time, and I even buy one of them quite often. Uh, Hudson reminded me that about, well, we'll talk about it when we get to it. Okay. But but these are what I call dollar aisle hot sauces. No, that don't mean they're any, They're either amazing or they're bad. Well, no, it doesn't mean they're bad. I'm just saying they're on the dollar aisle at the grocery store we go to. So it's Louisiana Supreme is the brand name. They are, uh, it says packed by Peppers Unlimited of St. Martinville, Louisiana. So this is a product of Louisiana. Even It's not just labeled Louisiana. This is, so this is the sauce Hudson said I made the best wings I've ever made with. I think it, it was the buffalo version of it. I don't know if there's a buffalo version of it, but whatever. It, they, so I don't know. I know we've had this quite a bit. I buy this a lot. It's a dollar. We don't need to We've it. never had their habanero version. There's their habanero version. We've also never had this, and which then, is their jalapeno version. And and we th thought this was the same brand, but it definitely wasn't. Yeah, so I don't really know what this is. This is Alagia. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if they mean that's supposed to be Alabama, Georgia with an A. I don't really know what this means, but it's, it's a hot sauce with cane syrup in it. So I figured why not try it. It is not part of the same company because it is... Uh, Looks like Whitfield Foods in Montgomery, Alabama. So anyway, we're going to... Oh. Thanks for stabbing my arm. I wasn't. We're going to do that at the end uh, because it, I'm going to kind of push it over the end because it doesn't belong necessarily in this. So the first one we're going to do, as per usual, we're going to start with what we perceive will be the least hot, and that is the jalapeno pepper sauce by Louisiana Supreme. It, it looks rotten. And we're going to do it on a... What I like to refer to is a lunchroom chicken nugget. Okay. Cheers. It's a great value chicken nugget, actually, though. Cheers, and let's try it. It tastes like a typical... Alpine hot sauce. Alpine hot sauce. It's not very hot, but it does good. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. It builds, kind of. That's a good flavor. I'm pretty sure we haven't had that, but I'm, I've tasted hot sauces that taste pretty much identical. That so. tastes like every other hot sauce that's jalapeno. Do you know what that would be good in? What? Guacamole. 
or salsa. It would to heat to brighten up some salsa. Mm -hmm. I agree. I don't like I like spicy salsa. Well, thanks for telling me. I don't like mild mm, salsa. I want it hot. All right, so this is just their standard like regular hot sauce. If I remember, this is really good. It has uh, it, what well, it says Louisiana hot peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and xanthan gum. So this is a typical regular like southern vinegar based hot sauce. Cheers. Mm, that's good. That's the kind of hot sauce we like. Mm -hmm. Not very hot. That's really good on sugar. A lot of vinegar. I like vinegar based hot sauce. I love vinegar based hot sauce. But this is good. Actually, that's really good for a dollar. Now I know some of the ones like Louisiana and some of those run specials and it'll be a dollar or less. But usually they're not less than a dollar, I don't think. So Habanero. anyway. So do you fear the habanero is gonna be pretty hot, honey? No. Alright, so this is the habanero version, which actually does have the same ingredients as the last one, except for it has no, that's not true. It doesn't. It has habanero peppers, carrots, onions, distilled vinegar, garlic, lime juice, salt, and scent. What's with carrots being in hot sauce? I don't know. That's a good question. Cheers. Gives it a little sweetness, probably. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. Wow. I've started to like habanero like hot sauces because they usually taste good. That might be the mildest habanero sauce I've ever had, though. That's very mild. They probably put like a tiny bit of it in there. <laughs> yeah. It's good, though. Yeah. Like I Look, it has carrots on the front. I think carrots just like there's flavor. That's all. And a little bit of sweetness. I actually like that. I mean, it's hotter than the other two, but it's not hot. Okay, so I'm this is... Is it hot in here Yeah, it's humid in here. I, I just turned the air down. Yeah. So we had like, our... You see, we had our porch fixed. We had our screened in porch fixed. Today. I came down at like 10 and they were working on it. All right, so this has been around for over 100 years. I mean, for goodness sakes. So this is uh, Alaga. Is this Alabama like and Georgia. I don't know what that stands for, but... It's got cane sugar in it, honey. So you're gonna, I'm gonna let you read the ingredients because I can't see them. Um, peppers, distilled vinegar, corn syrup, cane syrup, salt, xanthan, and something gone. So this is good. This, this, and garlic extract. Okay, so this is very similar, but it's got, it's got cane sugar and something else. It's anyway. sweet. All right, so let's see what this is like. It's, you can smell the sweet. Not that sweet. That tastes good. That is good. It's not very sweet at all. So that's called Southern Seasoning Hot Sauce. I, I that mean, that tastes good. I've lived in the South all my life. I've never heard of a sweet, spicy sauce like this. Mm, but it's been around a hundred years. So what do I know? <laughs> that is good. I like that a lot, actually. Wow, honey, I wish I had more. Do we make any? Yeah, but we're not going to eat more on camera. <laughs> All right, so how do you, this is where we, <clears throat> we present the hot sauces. Yeah, temperature on, I'm sure. <coughs> COVID-19. <19. coughs> so this is where we present the hot sauces. We talk about which one we like the most. There's no reason to say which one's hottest and what, this is the hottest, but it's not hot. Where would you rank that on a zero to ten heat scale? A three? Uh, a four. Yeah, maybe. It's not very hot. Maybe, I mean, maybe a four. Uh, this is probably a two and a half or three. You think it's that little? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is, I mean, they're not hot. But which one do you like the best? How, let's rank them. I'm going to put them up here. Let's rank them on the way you like them, and we will display it for the camera. One, two, three, four. <coughs> no, 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 no. Oh. This is how it makes it. I made it myself. They're all good. They are. All, there's not so a like, bad one. So, like, if I rank one last, it doesn't mean I don't like it. It just means I'll get it. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. So, you're going, that's fine. 
So he so he likes no I will say he likes the regular traditional hot sauce and it is really good. For for a traditional southern hot sauce, I like that way more than I should. Is that better than crystal? Oh. I don't know, it's good though. And then his second favorite is this weird alaga. Which is not weird at all. It's really good. His number three is the habanero, which is surprising, but it is not a hot and it is good. And then his third is jalapeno, which, you know, <clears throat> I get where you're going with jalapeno. Jalapeno can be a little bit boring, mm -hmm. especially when you're doing it like this. Depends what, like, depends what you're eating. But we use a lot of jalapeno sauce when we yes. cook, when we make salsa, when we make... Uh, a lot of guacamole. Yeah, I put it in my Bloody Marys. I mean, we use a lot of it. We go through a lot of bottles of it. So anyway, I get where you're going. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to just swap it with the habanero. I like the habanero. But I, I do too. So I'm going to go. This is the best. I agree with you. This is different and I like it. And I'm going to put number two. Uh, this is a very good traditional sauce. And this is the, one of the best habanero sauces I've ever had. Which Just because it's not so hot. Like we'll actually keep that in the fridge this time. Yeah, we will not throw it away. Surprisingly. We'll use all that. So those are a dollar each. So for four dollars, we got a lot of hot sauce. We do. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching. We really enjoy these. I know we talk about it every time, but we seriously do. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm in the hot, uh, in the grocery store, I'm in the hot sauce aisle looking for something different to do. We always do when we're in whatever store. Yeah, any store we go in. We just, we, you know, since COVID, you got to go certain ways. Through, so we got to kind of go through them. Anyway, so. Not in hometown. Not in hometown. Not in hometown. In Publix, yes. Publix, but nobody follows the rules, which no. really angers me. So we won't go. In One there. time, I saw like three ro three rows in a row. What did I say? But three they're aisles. all they were walking in the wrong way. Oh, I was with you. I'm aware, and it angered me because I said, "All right, let's wait for these people so we can do it right." <laughs> Anyway, all right. So thanks for watching. Seriously, we uh, again we're gonna have Luke soon. Very soon. Very soon we're gonna have Luke. We are also gonna get back into the fast food uh, realm of doing reviews. We just really haven't found anything that's excited us lately. Nope. The, then one thing that has excited excited me is that it, is what one dollar eight chicken nuggets at Burger King. They're pretty good. True. That's not an exciting thing, though. It's exciting for it me. It used to be ten dollars or ten for a dollar. Now it's eight for a dollar, and you're excited because it's cheaper than McDonald's. And it's spicy chicken nuggets, and they're just spicy. Oh, yeah, well, they're not terrible. I agree. We've That's already reviewed only... that, though. Would you like for me to link that at the end of this video? Yes, but remember. Okay, think about this. When was the last time I wanted to go to Burger King? One night after baseball practice, and they were closed. Yes, and I was like a like a month ago. Mm, and I yeah. wanted to go there yesterday just to get the spicy chicken nuggets. That's how much I love them. Did you get them? Yeah, got them. Oh, Lord. So good. What do you think about these chicken nuggets? Pretty good. That whole bag was like $5.98, and there's like 60 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with more videos. Uh, this probably will not air until after we've played. I don't I know. I may put this up this weekend. We'll see. All right, four, Honey, and it's chilly. We're out to this bar.